Hello! My name is Navigator, and in today's video I'm going to be showing off everything that I got in the Atomic Shop this week. This is a series that I do every Tuesday, you know, kind of just showcasing, going over all the different items, bits and bobs that I picked up uh, that Tuesday. So, without further ado, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about are the two smaller items that I picked up this week. And we're going to be starting off with the Halloween uh, Camp whatever uh, window boards. So these are pretty straightforward. They're just uh, window boards you can put over stuff. Uh, you can see I put it on a kind of blocked off window here. And then I also put it on an open window up there. So it does fit over open windows as well. This is something that uh, I really wanted. I didn't feel like paying 2,000 atoms for the entire Halloween bundle. I just wanted these. And thankfully today, they uh, they put them up in the shop uh, solo. So they were only around like 250, 300, somewhere around there. And uh, I think they'll serve me well for a lot of my future camps. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the second uh, small thing. And this is going to be the Van Lo Taxiderm sorry, Van Lo Taxiderm poster. Uh, I just want to say quickly, I'm really stuffed up today, so if I keep swallowing or pausing, it's just because just because I can't breathe through my nose. So, uh, anyways, this is a reference to the, the Wild Appalachia, uh, whatever cryptid missions you want to call it. Uh, I feel like this was probably in the game previously. Maybe I didn't have it or anything, uh, but I thought this was really cool. So, if you click on it, it uh, has this little read-up that says, For more information, come to Van Lo Taxidermy in Lewisburg. Sheep Squatch ate my brother. Uh, I like how this poster looks a lot, and I'll probably be, probably be putting this down in a lot of my camps, and uh, I think it'll be staying there. I kind of like how that looks above the uh, the bus stop so those two out of the way let's get on to the bigger stuff so i want to start first with the mole rat generator so unfortunately it is raining here at appalachia i apologize for that but uh, i'm sure you guys can still see this pretty well this is the large basic generator as you can see it's kind of got some sparks moving up over here uh hopefully that's not because of the rain uh but you see there's three mole rats up here that are uh, constantly running and uh, i guess keep keeping the power going so Something that is similar with all of these generators, and I think the other generators as well, the normal ones, is they kind of move around, uh, which makes sense, you know, all this machinery, you know, constantly moving, there'd be stuff like that moving around, so I thought that was a nice little touch. That's the large generator. Coming over here to the medium generator, uh, it's just two mole rats, so whittled down from three, and uh, it's pretty pretty much the same thing, just kind of compact a little bit. Uh, and the small generator is going to be almost identical, just a little bit smaller, and with one mole rat cylinder. What I like about the large and the small generator a lot is this, uh, this wood paneling they have on the bottom. I think that looks really, really, really cool. And it'd probably work well with a lot of flooring, maybe a lot of different uh, kind of like rustic builds. So I like that a lot. Over here, the last generator is going to be the Fusion Mole Rat Generator. I love this. Uh, unfortunately, I, I think it looks a little bit too much like uh, something out of the Alien event or whatever, but um, I really like how this computer looks over here. That looks fucking awesome with all those numbers going back and forth, you know, and this blue lighting. So over here, it is powered by three glowing mole rats, which is honestly pretty cool, a little bit different than the other ones, and uh, I like this guy in the middle a lot. He'll come all the way up here, and then he'll just kind of fall over. I think that's really, really funny. I could sit here watching these guys all day. So, yeah, it's the fusion generator, uh, the medium generator, the small generator, and the large generator. So, I definitely su suggest picking these up. They're a nice little spin on the generators we have, and they're still pretty lore-friendly. I mean, this is a, a pretty, you know, feasible thing that someone could uh, acquire these mole rats and just kind of have them as little gerbils providing power. So, I like that a lot. Let's talk about the thing that I like the most, though, and that is going to be the new Red Rocket skin for the dragon. So I have a two-shot dragon here. This is going to be similar to the, uh, what do you call it, the station pump skin for the pump-action shotgun. Uh, it, it's kind of this thing where it's like... Uh, Maybe some guy went to an abandoned Red Rocket station and he tried to make firearms out of whatever he could. So you can see the uh, the powder bag there is now uh, being used. Or sorry, is, or sorry, the powder bag is now a uh, gasoline canister from Red Rocket. You can see all these different like pipings and everything, uh, which is really cool. Very similar to the station pump, and I'm sure I'm going to be doing a build uh, surrounding this and uh, the other weapon as well. So be uh, be on the lookout for that in the future. Um, the biggest thing I like about this is, uh, I always forget the name of it, but the uh, the charging rod, whatever you want to call it, the packing rod on this is actually a big stick of rebar. I like how they changed that up. Uh, the charging rod of the normal dragon, as far as I know, is uh, similar to the one with the black musket, uh, or the black powder musket, where it's kind of the, uh, you know, the, the, the whatever you want to call it. It's like, it's like a nice, uh, it was, uh, sorry. 
When muskets originally came out, they came with a charging rod, and the charging rod was made out of materials and uh, looked similar to the rifle itself. But since this is kind of a patchwork rifle, I thought it was really fucking cool that they switched that around for just a fucking stick of rebar. So you'll see here in a second, there you are. It's just a stick of rebar pushing that in, and I love that so much. That was a great little touch. They did a really good job with this weapon. I'm going to show it up here in camera mode, and then I'll aim down the sights at the last part I like about it. So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. I should have used this for my uh, my Pulse Blaster for Mando, but uh, I guess I was a day late on that. So last thing I want to show you here is just when you aim it down, I like the arch that it kind of has there. It's like a little smiley face, and you can see clearly right down the sights there, and uh, you're ready to fire. So there we are. All right, folks, I'm not going to waste uh, any more of your time. This is everything that I got in the Atomic Shop this week. And uh, let me check the date real quick, just for a timestamp. Today is uh, Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. So, uh, Nav, if you're seeing this a couple years in the future, hopefully, uh, this is just a nice little reminder that, uh, yeah, you were starting your channel all the way back here in uh, 2022. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, I don't want to waste any more of your time. I definitely suggest going and picking up a lot of this stuff. Uh, my number one would be the new uh, dragon skin. I think that is so badass, but uh, that's up to you guys. So without further ado, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.